Very well, ladies and gentlemen, it is match day. Arsenal meet Brentford away. Let me know your predictions in the comments of this video. It's this episode, I'm so sorry. In the comments, let me know what you guys think about it. Arsenal versus Brentford, who's going to win? What will be the scoreline, your goal scorers? And have you given up on Arsenal already for this game? Okay, so moving on. So Arteta opened up about Brentford. He says, I think from top to bottom of the club, they know what they want to do and they executed really well. I think they will be really a tough opponent for every team in the Premier League. Uh, Sheffield United manager Slavisa Jokanovic on Ramsdale says, Probably yes, Arsenal still have an interest. I hope he stays with me all of this season. But what happens really, that is out of and beyond my control. This guy was really talking too much when asked why was Ramsdale absent before the game. And yeah, he said something else, didn't he? Go, go. That's what Arsenal do. They make relegated clubs, managers, shit their pants and change their stance on certain things, you know. Moving on, so a source in Arsenal declined. This is the news from AFC Bell about uh, Aaron Ramsdale. So AFC Bell says, a source in Arsenal declined to confirm the news of Arsenal's withdrawal from the deal permanently upon inquiry. On the urgent reports that followed the meeting which raises the suspicion that the club has other aims from these leaks, Sheffield are still apprehensive and ready for another try for, from Arsenal in the remaining time of the market. Also, AFC Bell uh, say that uh, well, they don't they don't have exact details of what went on behind closed doors at that meeting. But what AFC Bell understand is that the club did not announce his departure or or their withdrawal from the negotiating table for Aaron Ramsdale. The feeling that yesterday's leaks in the newspapers are a waving of a pressure card, not a statement of a real withdrawal intent. The napkin has not yet been lifted, which means. Aaron Ramsdale to Arsenal is still possible. Correspondence between Arsenal and Sheffield the night before yesterday's meeting in London was positive, described by one of the sources to AFC Bell. It was fruitful as the two parties moved from the arena of dialogue from the mantle of mediators to an official public theatre between the counterparts and there was a feeling in the hours preceding the meeting that a satisfactory compromise was imminent which did not happen and hence everything moving on. Moving on, so uh, Indicala News say that uh, James Madison is getting annoyed at Arsenal for dragging out his potential transfer to the club. And just like that, I don't give an F. Well, Arteta on if Obama Yang has gone downhill physically, he says, I don't know last season everything that happened individually and collectively around the club to everybody. It's difficult to measure whether it was one-off or it's that uh, is that a trend. Our job is to help the players give the best that they have. We know that with him, we are stronger, we score goals. So he scores goals and that's one of the most important thing in this game. Since he came back, he looked with the right mindset and tried to put the last season behind him, which was difficult for everybody, not just for him, for many different reasons and go back to that level that he can achieve that was all about Obama Yang while well, talking about more stuff Mikel Arteta had things to say that uh, on if he thinks if fans understand how difficult this transfer market is he says I don't know if you are reading all the time every news related to the club you can get confused because you see that many names attached to it that you can go from here to there so you're going to uh, like more A than B and if you get B and you are expecting A then you're never going to be happy but I don't know, we will try to explain why we doing why we are doing things the way we, we can and be transparent with that. And talking about Amazon's all or nothing, Arteta says, that's a decision made by the club and it's uh, with the best possible interest of the club. We need to help as much as possible. They're going to help as much as possible um, for everybody to see what this club means and how things are done at the football club. Be as transparent as we can to show the values, integrity, passions and where we are trying to drive this football club. Hopefully it is a perfect year to show that we need to make it happen. It is down to us to try to produce the best piece that we can so everybody can feel part of what we do and our fans can be proud of what we do. Gabriel is back ladies and gentlemen. He actually posted this image on Instagram with the caption, happy to be back in the office. <clears throat> 
Well, moving on. So Gabriel Martinelli shared this cool image on social media with the caption, ready for tomorrow's game. Of course you are. Of course you are. Moving on, Arsenal is training before the Brentford game. You can see Ben White, Pablo Mare, probably the combination that we might see tomorrow. Tonight, sorry, sorry, tonight. It's after 12.30 a.m. in India today. So, Seo Kolasinac, Ainsley Maitland-Niles in the background, and of course, the one, the only, the Smith. There we go, Tava uh, Sambi Lokonga, I was about to say Tavares. Saka and Balogun, Sambi, Tierney, Folren, Balogun and Bukayo Saka, the Hayland heroes. Joe Willock, probably his last string. Hector Bellerin, of course, in the background with talking to Saka, Abamayang, having a word with someone which I can... Holding. Yeah, there's a headband, but the hairline is receding, definitely that's holding. And then there's Miguel Arteta talking to someone. Nuno Tavares with Nicola Pepe having a word. So, well, let's talk about Bisuma because Brighton manager Graham Potter is unsure on Eve Bisuma's future with the club. So Bisuma is back with a new hairdo, but Graham Potter insists Eve Bisuma is happy at the MX Stadium, but he admits he does not know what the future holds for the player. He says, I've been speaking about Eve. Besuma for quite some time and he's still here that's all I can say on it I can't control the future I know I don't know what's going to happen essentially that's the beauty of life and football Eve is with us he's happy he's smiling he wants to play he wants to keep improving his career he's taking steps he's our player and while he's still here we'll do our best to help him and while the window is open you never know that's how football is that's the beauty of the transfer window. There's lots of speculation. That's part of the noise. We have to spend it wisely. Which is the right player, the right person. If that comes along, then of course, then it helps us to help the group. So, Eve Bissouma, Graham Potter is not sure whether Eve Bissouma will stay. That's like a casual thing. So, I won't be making anything more out of it. So, it looks like Madrid Extra have tweeted out Odegaard, Jesus Vallejo and Ceballos are not registered for La Liga. Well... It looks like um, the problem was that Real Madrid currently has 26 players in the team and Ancelotti wants to reduce that to 23. Odegaard is one of the players who is li very likely to leave this summer. Real Madrid is asking for 50, 50 million euros in addition to the right to buy in the future. That could be a loan spell and a buyback clause as well. So I don't know what Real Madrid is doing. But that's what it is. Loan spell to Martin Odegaard. If you want to buy, uh, well, you got an option to buy for 50, 50 million euros with an option to buy back the player. That's weirdest, weirdest thing that I've ever heard. Moving on, Real Madrid has two vacant positions left to register with the team squad in the Spanish Federation. There are three players competing for those two positions. Vallejo, Sabayos and Odegaard. And for now, Another source I've already mentioned that it's going to be Odegaard that might leave. And according to John Cross Mirror, it seems that Arsenal will spend more than 100 million pounds before the market closes. He still Arteta still wants a striker if Lacazette is sold, a goalkeeper and an attacking midfielder. For Madison, the chance of him coming seem, seems slim now. And talking about. <clears throat> And yes, as things stand, even uh, Madrid Zone tweeted out that Odegaard, Ceballos and Vallejo will not be able to play against Alaves this weekend. That's weird stuff. Well, David Luiz on leaving Arsenal says, both of us decided to split. I came for two years and the aim of was to win something, which I did FA Cup and Shield. Now I think the club has a different project for the long term. They have different ideas. My idea is to win, win, win as soon as possible. Well, Arteta on pundits writing them off of the top four. He says, hopefully we can prove them wrong. Last year, it was six points off of fourth place. We need to be there. We can find excuses. Other teams doing whatever. We have to find a way, our way to do it with the tools we have. Well, moving on. So, Talking about Tammy Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. So, first meeting for Abraham is completed via Roma. 
Thiago Pinto will remain in London at least until tomorrow. Pinto has a number of alternatives lined up if Tammy does not agree. And his stay in London will involve other meetings related to Roma's transfer window. Lacazette to Roma? Possible. Albert Sambi Lokonga, ladies and gentlemen, on his Instagram stories referencing the number 23 at Arsenal with, with Chicago Bulls. You know who that is? Michael Jordan. So with this, I'd like to end this episode. I will see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe. There's a watch along for the Arsenal versus Brentford game. Do join in and support Arsenal with the Indian Governor.